Hey guys, what's going on? Here I am again, and uh, I'd like to make this short video about competition. And this ties into the post that I uh, posted a few hours ago, and there were a lot of really good questions and really good observations. So I'm making this video to clarify a few things. So every single one of us has come here to, on, to Earth with a unique and divine blueprint and a unique and a divine mission. And we are also created in God's perfect image. I am created in God's perfect image and you are created in God's perfect image. And it also comes with your unique divine soul blueprint. What that means is at the soul level, you signed up to be <clears throat> a specialist at something. I don't know what it is. I am certain that you have been already pondering that. And the God in me, which is the divine mission, should never be competing with the God in you. An oak tree never competes with a pine tree. It's a different kind of thing. Only in the matrix, in the 3D matrix, through the ego mind, we've been trained for competition. Now, I understand that there are competitive aspects to life. I used to be a competitive swimmer. I understand what competition means because I also was in high tech for many, many, many years. I'm talking about a new spiritual awareness. And those of you that are coming on the new ascended timeline, this, this will be an absolutely important thing to master. Because the God in me will never compete with the God in you. Okay? And if you really think about it, this is one of the greatest problems for humanity because in the inverted matrix, everything has been inverted. Inversion means that what we think is right actually isn't. And what we think that is kind of weird actually is something that we should be exploring. So I challenge you, why are you so attached to competition? Why are you? See what comes up, and I'll give you an answer. The biggest problem for humans, and I said this many, many, many times, is that we are completely unconscious of our unconscious, okay? We have an unconscious world of a million pieces, and hardly anybody knows anything about that. Deep, deep in the unconscious, we have our unique, unique soul blueprint, which is the God in you and the God in me. The only way to find it is when you start working on your mind, when you release your memories, when you heal your heart, and you follow that system. Then you will be able to unarchive your true calling, and then you'll never ever want to be competing with anyone because there's only one you. You see, but because we don't go for our life purpose, we don't really dig because the recipe is not really out in the open, what we do is we settle for less, and then in the matrix, which is a very, very distorted version of reality, then we begin to play these games, we begin to play these competitive games, but as I said in that write-up, there's all sorts of subtleties in it. When we win at the expense of someone losing, we also create guilt. The guilt is the food of the ego. The guilt then later shows up as immune system issues. The guilt will later show up as relationship issues. The guilt later will show up as financial issues. And most people have no idea that it all stems from these subtle energy patterns. Okay, so I invite you to start really understanding the necessity of working on your mind and emptying it so that you release these inverted patterns and then you really start tapping into your soul calling. And then you realize your greatness and you'll never, ever, ever want to compete with anyone. Because ultimately what we are doing through competition, and this is what doesn't meet the eye, is we are competing with God. Who competes with God? The ego is in competition with God. But the lower ego, and what does that represent? It's the devil, right? So as long as we bind to these lower realms and these lower thinking patterns, we 
are told and convinced by the ego that that's all cool and this is the way it is that's how it is and then we pay the price 20 years later because that guilt finally built up and then creates all the havoc in our lives all right so i hope you guys enjoy this because this was really a very important message for the ascended time th those of you that are on, on the ascended timelines because this will be something that we have to unwire from our minds and when we unwire it, then we can truly show up authentically and we'll be able to really be of service to each other and be of service to the Creator, okay? Not in this competitive, insecure game that we've been playing, all right? So I'll be making another video. I'll post it on YouTube, which is going to be about the two things that are never healed or hardly ever healed for humans and that's why they have so many issues and that's what really brought a civilization civilization on its knees all right so i hope you enjoy this please post please comment and i'll be very happy to make additional videos for the benefit of all for our evolution and to create a new humanity human 2.0 talk soon